serious contenders for number one, Myrtle Brunhart and Robin Van Roosmalen. My name is Myrtle Groenhart. I'm called the Predator. I'm gonna hunt Robin van Roosmalen down. I'm Robin van Roosmalen. I think I, uh, I have an aggressive style. I'm always going forward with a lot of pressure. I think it's the best feeling when you get your hands raised. I could take a punch and I could dominate you from the first round to the last round. What's coming, he's gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna win Saturday, for sure. In Milan, they're gonna have a war, definitely. First to the glory ring, this man has fond memories of one of his last visits to Milan, when in 2008, he came as an underdog and knocked everyone in the tournament out. Please welcome Mertel Grunhard. Look at my wrist, it's 200 down, that me. And Mertel Grunhard has this to say. He's, what do I think of Robin? I think he's a short little guy with short little arms, and he is going to get knocked out. And then Rosemall and Deadpan responded. There's a saying in Holland, tall trees catch all the wind. Well, Grunhardt is on a roll because he won the 2012 World Max Tournament by knocking out three opponents, including Arthur Kershenko and Mike Zambidi. So he's got momentum coming into this fight. And his, he says his key to winning this whole fight is the left jab. He's going to use his length to move that head around, and Roche Milan will not be able to get on the inside. His opponent this evening, one of the most powerful fighters in the lightweight division with real knockout power. And tonight, knocking on the door of number one in the lightweight division, here is Robin Van Roosmalen. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Far too we kind. last saw Robin Van Roosmalen. Uh, on New Year's Eve, which was broadcast on CBS Sports Network, and he gave an absolute shellacking to a, a Japanese cosplayer fight, fighter. Uh, you know, Robin Van Roosman currently ranked number two at 70 kilos. And I'm telling you, when he fought Nagashima on New Year's Eve, I couldn't believe the punishment he put on that Japanese fighter. Yeah, he put a beating on that boy. And watch for his left hook. And here, even more disturbing, he started weight training for the very first time. He says he's stronger, he has more power than he's ever had in his life, and he's going to unleash it on the un on the disrespectful Grunhardt. And he does not engage in smack talk, doesn't understand it, why people do it. But one thing, it for sure pisses him off. Taking a look at the tail of the tape. Roos Mullen is a younger fighter, but Grunhardt is quite a bit taller and he's got more experience. So I'm concerned Roos Mullen's gonna have his hands full trying to get on the inside. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your co-main event this evening in Milan is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the lightweight 70 kilogram division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he comes to Milan on a seven-fight win streak. His record, 53 wins, 14 losses, three draws, 29 big knockouts. Standing 1.85 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 70.4 kilos. Representing Suriname and ranked number six in the Glory World Rankings, ladies and gentlemen, Mertel, the Predator, Grunhard. His opponent tonight standing on my left and fighting out of the red corner holds a black belt in judo. He came in second in Rome at the 2012 Final Eight Tournament. His record, 28 wins with just five losses, 19 of those wins by knockout. Standing 1.68 meters, he weighed in at 70.1 kilos. Representing the Netherlands, he is the number two ranked lightweight in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin Poker Face Van Roosmalen. Your referee, Mufadel El Ghazawi. No El 
good bow, no hard words, and no holding. Okay? Let's check in. Good luck. Frank so Shamrock, the, the that is a stare down. That's what I'm talking about. Judge, 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 time. Ready? Fight. And here we are. Fans are across the world. They've been waiting for this lightweight clash. Von Rosmalen in the orange trunks and Myrtle Gronhardt in the black. How will their styles match up? Well, Van Roosmalen is a mini Mike Tyson. Stays compact, tight, wing and short punches. He's got to be extra careful. That high knee of Grunhardt blows it in there right behind punches. Really hard to see. Oh, good right hand by Myrtle Grunhardt. That froze Van Roosmalen in his tracks. And he ran right into it. Head to head they are. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you. Myrtle yeah. Grunhardt is really having his way right now with Robin Van Roosmalen. Well, he's using that jab and that inside kick to keep Roosmalen right where he wants him. And the second he sees an opening, he's bringing that knee up or he's popping him short. Von Rosmalen is trying to trap Myrtle up against the ropes. But right now, Myrtle using a lot of good movement, pivoting away with that left hook and a flying wow. knee up the center. Von Rosmalen charging in with a couple punches to the body. And that knee is going to keep Rusman real honest on bringing his head inside for hooks. Yeah. And trying to get his head low. And uh, Robin Van Rusman starting to bleed quite a bit around the center of his face and the nose. Oh, good right hand by Robin Van Rusman. Right through the defense of Grunhardt. Murtha with that skip left knee, barely missed. They're really burning through this round number one. Well, Van Roosmalen landed a short left hook there. Grunhardt with that knee up top doesn't land, but he's coming forward and oh, down oh, goes! Oh. Grunhardt! Robin Van Roosmalen has dropped! Myrtle Grunhardt here at the Six, end of round number seven. one. We talked about the left hook of Rusman. It's a monster, and he ate some right there. One thing about Robin Van Roosman, he can close the show. Will he do that? He's Mur coming for him. He smells the blood. Wow! What a round! Probably shouldn't have called him a leprechaun. No! But it's not over yet. But nonetheless, Robin went right through, bloody nose or not, and dropped Grunart. Yeah, he brought that left hook right on the chin. Grunart was coming in for that knee again. He got a little greedy, left himself open, bam! Right on the button. Jumping knee, Brunhart in range, ripping the body, feeling real confident with that knee, but got to keep your hands up at all times. Well, Frank, as you mentioned earlier in the round, you said the knee was a good counter to the left hook, but we found that the left hook is a great counter to a, a knee when you leave your face wide open. And all the judges given Ruth Small in that round. Come on. Ready? Start. Fight. Round number two in the epic battle between Van Roosmalen in the orange and Grunhart in the black. Grunhart's gotten back into a kicking game. Try to keep that range a little bit. But he's getting walked backward. And that shortens his knee attack. Yep. Because once uh, Von Roosmalen gets right in front of him. Oh, great kick by Von Roosmalen. Grunhardt switched stances here. 
Maybe for defensive reasons. Maybe he's hurt. Come back, come on. Maybe he's just mixing it up. Nice push kick. With long legs like that, push kick all day. Yeah. Use that to set up the right hand. And Bajan Rujbaum creeps forward call. and blasts oh. away to the body. That body shot sent Grunhardt sliding down the rope a little bit, looking for a way out. I have to say that Grunhardt suddenly respects the punching power of Von Rusbach. Bruce Mon looking for a way in. Tries the inside leg kick. From the urge, uh, by the urging of his corner and lands that quick left hook again. I can just feel the emotion from Robin Van Roosmalen. We'll talk the, about emotion. Remember his last fight? He was so yeah, mad at Nagashima so for the way he came out and yeah, because, disrespected him. And, yeah, yeah. and maybe that was his strategy because uh, Roosmalen also said he couldn't hit him flush. He was frustrated. Yeah, but he, he, he felt he was a little bit too over-exuberant. Yeah. You know, I, I th Frank, you know as well as I do, emotions can be a double-edged sword. And if you get really hot and angry, you get tired, too. Yeah, you got to control him. But uh, Grunhardt hasn't been able to offer anything significant here in round number two as we fade down to 30 seconds left. Oh, and Robin on Rosemall, and he wants Murtho to box with him. Yeah. I think he wants everybody to box with him now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Grunhardt coming back with that knee again. I think that's a move he needs to continue to go to. Front kick, knee, set up the right hand. Oh, vicious. And round number two is in the books as they go back to their corners. We saw a much more conservative Myrtle Grunhardt in that round. Yeah, and usually Roos Mullen moves straight forward, and that's it. This time he said he's going to move forward and then to the side a little bit. It's working really well for him because he's putting himself in perfect position to rip that body, come over from the top, and get at Grunhardt from angles where Grunhardt is defenseless. Right here, hands up. He's defenseless. He's not going to counter. The judges again giving Roos Mullen, all of them, giving him the round 10-9. And we would like to thank once again all of our fans in the USA watching us on CBS Sports Network and our fans around the world watching us on our internet pay-per-view. Okay. Second to last one. Oh, uh oh, that, that was Martha a good shot. You know what? He heard him. He, he, he got rocked. Robin he Van Roosmalen got, got rocked around the right glove there. and he rocked him. He got rocked again with a left hook. Mercer He's got to recover. Yeah, Kroonhardt is coming in, but you know, somebody's going down in this. Someone's going down. I, I feel it. Yeah, Roosmalen's still hurt. Yeah, you know. He's trying to get the cobwebs out. That's the beauty of glory kickboxing. One <laughs> shot and the whole tide turns. I'm telling you. When this fight is over and they're at the after party, they're probably going to both look at each other and say, you know, you hurt me in that round. And you, you know, you hurt me. <laughs> I'm not sure they oh, admit it. Nice uppercut by Von Rusmal. Yeah, Grunhardt got a little stunned the from that one. The tide has turned significantly as Murder Grunhardt is hurt. Rusmal should bang the body and hit the head. Whoa. What up? Long spinning back fist from Grunhardt gets admonished for it because it hit the forearm. <laughs> Middle of the round, they're kind of slowing down a little bit. Rusman looking for looking for spots for his leather. It looked like the tide was going to turn early on. 
when Grunhardt seemed to have rocked Von Roosmalen. But man. He couldn't hurt him again. Now Grunhardt's looking a little soft here on the ropes. Stance is looking a little soft. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, he's used a lot of gas already. One minute left here in round number three. Robin Van Roosmalen and back in control has Myrtle Grunhardt pinned up against the rope and tees off with a three-punch combination. Myrtle Grunhardt has really lost some steam here. And Roosmalen just led with three right hands. <laughs> he is looking for some, looking for some head action. Two, two, two. Here, Roos Mullins corner, imploring him to add the low kick to the end of those combinations. But Myrtle Grunhardt coming back out, trying his best. <laughs> Grunhardt's jab has disappeared. Mostly defensive posture here. He's got to do something. He really does. Too little, too late. Yeah. And you've got to know, Frank. Yeah. Let's let's do a weather forecast here. <laughs> I, I'm picking Van Roosmalen for sure. Oh yeah. Okay, well, we have a, a a slight situation that. Uh, go ahead, Frank. Well, oh, there it is. Behind the head. Just right, right. behind the head, got right. over the hand. That's the kind of shot that really rattles you. It takes you, takes a minute or so to recover. That left hook landed nicely as well, but Bruce Mullen refusing to move backwards, refusing to back down. Such a great fight, though. I mean, we saw a little bit of a seesaw because uh, Myrtle Grunhardt went down, and it looked like Robin may go down in the third round, but he came right back. And we have a decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a winner on points. The judges score this bout. 149, 131 for your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Robin Van Robin. You took control early, but in that third round, it looked like he caught you pretty good. Yes, you know, Myrtle is always dangerous. And every round, even in less than seconds, you don't can make a mistake. Can't send him punish you. Now, he, he talked a lot of smack before the fight. Did that affect you, and did you get emotional, and is that a drawback for you? I always fight with my heart, and it motivates me even better. I hope you learn now that little leprechaun so you can punch. <laughs> Uh, a friend of yours is going to be fighting in the main event, Georgia Petrosian against uh, Hafid El Bostadi. You've got to really have an interest in that fight. Yes, of course, I fight against both. I lost the Fornality boat, and I hope to get the rematch so I can prove myself again. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for him one more time. Robin Van Roosmalen. And Roosmalen continues. His reign of terror with that huge left hook right here. And he's got an interest in all combat sports. After this, he's going to go to Florida. He's going to train in mixed martial arts. He just loves to get in there and fight. And he was brilliant tonight, adding punch kick combinations, never backing up, never backing down. And he's, he did what he said he was going to do. He moved forward and also to the side, cutting off Myrtle, taking away a lot of his strengths. Robin Van Roosmalen has definitely